Did you know that as a reference to the car's writer and director, John Lasseter, every now and then, Lightning McQueen's tongue pops out when he's thinking about something. This is a characteristic of Lasseter, which his animators gleefully incorporated into the film. Carl Fredrickson's car from Up has the same white walls as Lightning McQueen. Better than a Ferrari, huh? Eh, no. Did you know the tractors that Mater and McQueen are tipping give off an electronic moo sound? which was taken from Milky the Marvelous Milking Cow, a Kenner toy introduced in 1978. Did you know that when Lightning McQueen wakes up in the impound yard, the parking boot is on the driver's side front tire, but Mater hooks up to Lightning's rear to tow him in. He should have hooked to the front since one of the front tires was incapacitated. Did you know that the song Mater sings to himself is called Put It In The Bag from the obscure Disney short cartoon series Humphrey and the Bear? Making sculptures out of junk. Put it in the sack, bump, bump. That's the way it's done. It's a lot of fun, bump, bump. The Peterbilt's trailer has designs drawn by John Lasseter's sons. I ain't no Mac, I'm a Peterbilt. The Radiator Springs Grand Prix was originally going to be included in the first Cars movie but the idea was used for the video game and Cars 2 instead. A deleted Radiator Springs character was named Mr. Windshield, a yellow, older car who looked similar to Doc. He was the town's optometrist who sold glass with class. Revolting Batteries was the sponsor of a race car and cars. One of their products is visible in Toy Story 3, in the scene where the toys are gambling together. <laughs> Did you know that Jerry and Ann Mira voiced the RV couple Harvey and Winnie, who celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in Piston Peak National Park? Jerry and Ann celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary in 2014, the same year that Planes Fire and Rescue was released. Does Pulaski sound familiar? No, sir, Pulaski. Kapuski? Pulaski. Katootsie? Pulaski. That's because he's voiced by Patrick Warburton, who also voices Joe Swanson from Family Guy. Peter, check it out, my new electric wheelchair. <laughs> the moonshine the legends were hinting at in Cars 3 is a direct reference to the business of running moonshine, which was popular during the time of prohibition in the 1920s and 30s, a law which prohibited the manufacture, sale, transport, import, or export of alcoholic beverages. Folks would brew their own booze by the light of the moon, then would race through back roads and even forests to deliver their wares with their headlights off to avoid detection. Soon, people started racing their souped-up moonshine cars for fun, and a new sport was born, stock car racing. Oh, never mind. We ran moonshine, dummy! Todd the Pizza Planet truck was featured in all of the Cars movies. In Cars, he's seen as one of the spectators outside the stadium before Lightning's big race, he was also on the Wheel Well Motel's TV behind the bar in Cars 2 as a guest on the Tire Talk show and was later seen as a spectator in the Radiator Springs Grand Prix. In Cars 3, he was a competitor in the Crash Up Derby at Thunder Hollow. Did you know that the fictional racetrack Motor Speedway of the South is based on Bristol Motor Speedway? where NASCAR holds races for its premier series. Did you know John Lasseter took racing lessons at Infineon Raceway in California as part of his research for cars? All of the Piston Cup race cars' tires say Lightyear, which is a reference to the company Goodyear, and also a reference to Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story film franchise. Also, barely seen on the tires, it says Sector 4 Gamma Quadrant, which is Buzz's home. To infinity and beyond! On the back of Harvey's spare tire is a U.S. map, just like a lot of RVs have. After visiting the individual states, they color in that state on the map. Harvey and Winnie have been to every state in the U.S. except Oklahoma. Did you know that the walking robots that McQueen attacks in his first daydream sequence are actually spark plugs on legs? Did you know that Lightning McQueen was designed to be a cocky, yet likable character? To that effect, the animators looked at real people, like Joe Namath, Muhammad Ali, and Kid Rock as reference points. McQueen is named after Pixar animator Glenn McQueen, who died in 2002. 
Did you know that the UK version of Planes, Fire, and Rescue features a cameo voice performance from the Spice Girls Emma Bunton and TV presenter Jamie Theakston, presenters of the London Breakfast Radio Show on Heart 106.2. They play a pickup truck and a lady car in the bar scene after Dusty finds out his gearbox is broken. The background mountains, as seen in the town of Propwash, are in the shapes of large aircraft, particularly what appears to be the shapes of Boeing B-17 flying fortresses. Did you know that the tuners surrounding Mac and McQueen outrunning the train is a reference to the first Fast and the Furious movie from 2001? Yo, Wingo! Lane change, man! <laughs> right back at ya! The Tokyo Night Race in Cars 2 is inspired by the Formula One race through the streets of Singapore. Fillmore, who is voiced by the late comedian George Carlin, was partially inspired by Al Sleet, the hippy-dippy weatherman which was a popular skit that Carlin performed in the 1960s and 1970s. Al Sleet here, hippy dippy weather man, with all the hippy dippy weather. Did you know that Thomasville Motor Speedway is named after Herb Thomas, who drove the original fabulous Hudson Hornet? Doc Hudson's crew chief Smokey is named after Thomas's crew chief, Henry Smokey Eunuch. The Thomasville racetrack is based on the old North Wilkesboro racetrack in northwestern California. Did you know that the Luxo Ball is painted onto Thunder Hollow racer Bill's hood in Cars 3? Hey, Patty! Oh, hey, Bill! The car's kissing on the Pont des Arts bridge in Paris was inspired by what John Lasseter and wife Nancy learned during a visit to Paris, that couples should kiss when they cross the Pont des Arts. One of the characters is lavender because it is Nancy's favorite color. London's famed clock tower, Big Ben, is named Big Bentley in Cars 2 and is designed after Bentley grills and hood ornaments. May I remind you, federal DOT regs state... Did you know the DOT regulations that Mac begins to quote to McQueen requires drivers of property carrying commercial motor vehicles to stop driving after reaching the end of the 14th consecutive hour after first coming on duty? The 14th hour limit was specifically designed to reduce fatigue-related accidents on the nation's highways. Did you know that in the Our Town montage, the Rusty Bumper Store features the Rusty's logo in the window? Did you know that some of the next generation racers' names are puns on the cast members' names? For example, Chase Racelot is voiced by NASCAR driver Chase Elliott. Let me put it this way. I'm not losing any sleep wondering where Lightning McQueen is. I'm not losing any sleep wondering where Lightning McQueen is. Such a cool opportunity for me and definitely nothing I would have ever expected to be a part of uh, when I was younger and watching the first Cars movie. I remember seeing it in the theaters, so uh, very, uh, very odd, I think, but definitely really cool and, and an honor to uh, be a part of such a great you know, franchise of, of films.